why I decided on the month that I'm going to be the busiest of my entire life that I choose like five books that are over 500 pages. <laughs> This is Kira. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are back with a TBR video. Can't believe that I'm already filming this. I don't know what this is. I just share some books that I'm hoping to get to this month. I usually try to stick to these as much as I can, but I definitely am a mood reader, so I have a bit of a smaller TBR this month because I am going to start working and I don't know how often I'm going to be working so I don't know how much time I'll have for reading this month. Make sure to follow my socials down below. Add me on Goodreads if you want to be friends on there. Like, comment, and subscribe and let's get right into it. Here's my stack. I don't have all the books on here because I don't have copies of some of them. Wait, I'm just gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna like grab and talk, talk about it. All right, this first book, if we're being honest, is due, I think, the 5th or 6th of April, so I kind of have to read it, which is fine. This is Forever After All by Katharina Mora, M Mora. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I actually read a book by this author last month, so if you didn't see my wrap-up video, I will link it up there. Yeah, I ended up not really liking that book. I don't know, I've just had this one on my TBR for so long, I don't even really remember what it's about. Oh. Interesting. So this seems like a Marriage of Convenience book, which, if you know anything about me, I love a Marriage of Convenience book. They're like, it's like one of my favorite tropes of all time. A pretty short book too. I'll probably end up having to read this book first during the month so I can return it back to the library. We'll see if I read this. <laughs> if you watch my, I think it was my March TBR, I put this on there. Obviously I didn't read it. Maybe I'll get to it this month, but it's Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. This is also a marriage of convenience. It is a chunker. I know that. Yeah, if you don't know about the series, it's just like about three brothers, their grandfather owned like this Disneyland type park. In order to get their inheritance from it, they have to do certain things. Yes, I know it's grumpy, sunshine, marriage of convenience, stuff like that. I loved the fine print and I have high hopes for this one. I hope to get to this one this month. I actually like really want to read it. So let's pray that I do. Next up is a book that's part of a series that I started last month. And again, see my wrap up. Look at that. Basically, I started the Shatter Me series and I read the first book last month, the novella that came after it, the second book, and then Adam's novella. And I want to read Ignite Me, the third book in the series because I just cannot be stopped. I have a feeling that if I have the time, this series might be completely read by the end of the month. I really can't talk about it because then I'm going to be spoiling things. So all I will say is that apparently people fall in love with Aaron Warner in this book and a lot of people end up giving it a five stars. So I have high hopes for this book because I'm still kind of on the fence on what my thoughts about Aaron. So this is priority TBR for the month and will be read. I'm going to take a break from the physical copy books and I'm just going to talk about three books that I'm kind of hoping to read this month. I'm thinking I'm going to do a video on this. The video is going to be reading mystery thriller books for a week. I'm hoping to read some mystery thrillers for a video and I have like three that are on my radar for this month and the first one is The Perfect Marriage. I got it for free with Prime Reading so I'm really really excited to read this book this month hopefully. The husband has a mistress and she winds up dead in like their second 
home. I think it's like a cabin home or something. And the wife is a defense attorney and ends up being the defense attorney in his case. I'm super excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. The second book, which is another highly anticipated thriller mystery, is The Silent Patient. I think it's about a woman um, who I think killed somebody and has not like spoken about it since. I don't know, that's just like so interesting. I want to find out why she has not spoken about anything since, so. And then the third book is Then She Was Gone, and I don't really remember anything about this book, if we're being honest. I think this is about a woman whose daughter goes missing, and then she like gets into a relationship with this guy, and has like a daughter or something, and the woman's like, why does this girl look so familiar? And it might be her daughter? I'm not really sure, but I'm so intrigued, so... Perfect Marriage, The Silent Patient, and Then She Was Gone are three thrillers that I'm hoping to get to this month for a video, if not just to like read them, at least one of them. The next book I'm also really excited about. Last month I read the third book in the series and I hated it. I quite literally hated that book, Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. So I am so freaking excited for this book. I'm very excited to read about Christian because I've seen a lot of things on Pinterest of what people imagine him to look like and why is he so hot. This is about Christian and Stella. And Christian's like this, he has like this security company or something. And then Stella's like an influencer. And I think there's like a stalker thing in this book. I have no idea, but Stella lives in an apartment in the building that Christian owns. So yeah, I think there's a little bit of fake dating in here, which is like a hit or miss for me. You know, this is a very highly anticipated read. Hopefully I get to it this month. Again, this is another chunky book. If I get to it, I get to it. If not, it's okay. The buys hopefully will be read this month. This is your hint. This, this right here is your hint to the book that I'm hoping to read next. Can you guess? I'll give you a second to guess. It's Flawless by Elsie Silver, which these books, just this series in general, has taken over my bookstagram, and I'm honestly not upset about it. This is the first book in the Chestnut Hill series? I forgot what it's called, but this is like a cowboy romance series. I think it's about a PR manager and I think a bull rider. I don't remember. For the occasion I bought this hat. Honestly, I think it looks okay. But yeah, this is actually free on Prime Reading and I snatched it up so quickly and was like, I have to read this book. I might end up buying the whole entire series because the covers are just so gorgeous by the end of the month. So, yeah, cowboy romance in my cowboy era. Last book that I'm hoping to get to this month is, again, a continuation of a series. And I read the first book last month for a video, which was reading books out of my comfort zone, or trying books out of my comfort zone, something like that. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, which is the second book in the Akatar series. This book is like 600 pages. So I don't know why in my right mind thought that, hmm, let's read it when you're starting a full-time job. Again, like I said, this is the second book in the Akatar series. I can't really go much into depth with it if you have not read the first book. Yeah, apparently everybody loves Rees in this book. Very excited to continue with the Akatar world. The vibes that came from the first book, oh my god. I almost bought the box set from Target yesterday. <laughs> I had to restrain myself. I have a feeling eventually the box set will be bought. Excited, excited, excited to continue with the XR world. These are all the books, aside from ones that are ebooks or I don't have yet. Ones that I hope to get 
to this month. They are my April hopefuls is what I'm calling them. Why I decided to pick so many books that are over 500 pages this month. Hope you guys enjoyed. Follow my socials if you want to stay updated with what I'm reading. If you want to be, you know, friends with me, chat. I'm very active on especially my bookstagram. My socials are down below as long as my goodreads. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!